All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for coming over, man. We got uh, another video here from Cameron. It says, the problem with black YouTube. <laughs> oh, man, I can already tell where this video is about to go. Uh, wow. Appreciate all the love and support. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description so you guys can subscribe and check out more. We ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Ken. Go, hey, first and foremost, shout out to this brother for having the you know what to to uh, make a video make a video like this somebody got to do it somebody got to say it uh because like i'm pretty sure he got a lot a lot of pushback on this but this dude Corey, man Corey be always taking those breaks trying to work on this mental health but they hey yeah great content Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube and all their videos are just based around sexual right. things. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make. And the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes. But the next day you feel like absolute it's kind of like yin and yang, you know? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that other side of black YouTube, the terrible side. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It has to be a freaky truth yeah. or dare. You can't just go on a blind date. It has to be a freaky blind date. The other day, I literally seen a video titled, I put my freaky ass parents on a blind date. We are getting to the point in content creation where but but again it falls into the category of this is what people want to see you know they wouldn't they wouldn't do it if people weren't watching you know so it's you know it goes hand in hand because they see it that it's popular so they're like i'm gonna do it too i'm gonna do this they're gonna do it i'm gonna do it they're gonna do it you know that's what it is we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky that is absolutely weird if i'm being honest with you another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20v1s these videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s i can't oh. tell you how many black content creators i've seen milking the absolute life out of 20v1s now if you don't know what a 20v1 is well it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date one person and by the end of the show that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people i'm pretty sure this video idea was like like created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen, and then the black community just took it by storm. Now don't get me wrong, there are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20v1s every single week. For example, No Love Mar. Now if you don't know who No Love Mar is, well he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers, but when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20v1s. I wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid, the way he's helping out everyone find love i wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20v1 with the whole entire united states for his next video honestly at this point this man should put me in a 20v1 to help me find some action like come on and what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20v1s that he literally jumped another youtuber because they made a 20v1 with krishan rock and he oh, wanted to do that no. idea first i mean there's literally entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio them beating up the other guys and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to youtube number Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the Snaggletooth demon? <sighs> the Snaggletooth demon. See, and, and another thing too is how much of this stuff is real. How much of it is staged? When they do get matched up with the person they get matched up with, what's happening after that? Are they dating? Are they still together? You know, it's almost like those reality shows on TV. That's what they, they're pretty much trying to create. But I think a lot of it, most of it is fake. Even them, I don't know what that fight in there. Like, you about to go there and fight people who are filming. Okay. Like, cameras aren't rolling. They're going to see you come in there. Like, I don't know, man. It, it's just, 
to get the shock factor. It's crazy. In Krishan Rock, that woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a topic before me and I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like it just doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that before every 20v1 that this man does, he promotes this scam where where apparently you're supposed to get $750 cash app from clicking the link in the description, but you don't. It just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them. I mean, what? there's literally entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link, but you as a viewer, you get nothing because I mean, why would cash app just give you $750? They would be broke if they just decide to do that. It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is, but I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. You also have have this other youtuber right here named real x sean and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 v1s i mean nothing really else but this man also he spams that link in the description with that 750 dollars cash app that you're never gonna get and then you got another 20 v1 youtuber right here named ryan with the sauce and he also spams that link in the description with that 750 dollars cash app and what's also crazy about these 20 v1 youtubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them the only difference is the people in the 20 v1s the intros are all the same the editing is all the same hell even the freaking personalities of all these youtubers are all the same even the freaking scam in the video they're all doing the same 750 dollars cash app scam even the scam in the video is the exact same these dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory bro like they're just printed every single freaking week every crazy. week i see a new up and coming 20v1 youtuber what's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20v1s which is very sad for you guys that don't know there's this rapper named la tyler and he's 17 years old and the youtuber no love mar he made a video with La Tyler. He made a 20v1, and it's disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. How you feel about sex on a very night? I don't think it's bad. Like, if both of y'all vibing with each other, you peep the vibe. We grown. We grown. And see, that's what I'm saying, man. How are they able to upload this? It gets really tricky on what you can and what you can't. I'll never understand it. What you can and what you can't upload. <sighs> There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, it's if you not. sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 V1s with Lil RT. And for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's Come not on, like man. the main character in these 20 V1s. He's like that little assist character that you have in freaking in Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I Found Love from the help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine-year-old to help you find love? You also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything. For his mom. His mama there. That's the problem right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today, if I'm being real with you. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes, which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up, and one by one, they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it. If I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match 
match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff. Overall, my problem with Black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest Black YouTuber of all time with zero originality, which is absolutely crazy. And number two, all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them. And then once these kids click on them, they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, Black YouTube is just down atrocious right now. And it's honestly sad to see, bro. But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate Yeah, man. Um, that's pretty bad. But, but again, who are the viewers, right? That's the whole thing. In order for, in order for them to succeed, people have to view it. And that's why they're, they're continuing to do it because people want to see it, you know? Um, I just feel like a lot of people can do a lot more with their time. They could probably get a little more if they did some real like brainstorming, you know, especially now since they have a huge following, probably a lot of money, they could probably just, you know, do something, something huge, you know, but again, this is what the audience want to see. So they essentially are just giving the people what they want. As crazy as that sound, you know, but I'm just wondering what that at home dynamic is. What is the, 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 is the father figures there? Are the parents in their lives at all? Or. All right. Hey, appreciate you guys coming over and watching, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.